Look, I get it. You want a new video in the non series, but I played this game and it turned out to be good, so I had to scrap the entire intro. So today I will be presenting all of you with Tim Tim. What could potentially go on to become the new Pokemon? Let's do the first thing any normal person does, and let's change the text speed of the game. And, uh, um, all right, and now we get to make her character. I don't know why they gave me a girl, and I don't know why they decided to make her naked. I feel like they're trying to hit the pedophile community. They really want to take the Pokemon fans, huh? Oh, that was not a good joke. Oh, God. What's up, gamers who are preferably sexually attracted to people their age? How's it going? I'm here to bring you in my new avatar, and I gotta say, this is honestly way better than anything Pokemon has ever made. And now we enter the world of Tim Tim. Oh. Is that what my mom looks like? I'm about to pull a reverse Casey Anthony. I don't like this. Good morning, Alpha. I had this dream where the mask salesman from Majora's Mask try to wake me up. Okay, so I was honestly planning on making fun of this game a whole lot more, but let's compare these two visuals real quick. It's Alpha Red. Congrats. Woohoo! All of my Zadar is here. I feel like you need to see a doctor for that. Anyone calling? Oh, did you know it's my Apprentice's Eve to- Oh, my friendly rival. Or maybe this is a step up from Pokemon games and they're not my friend. Instead, they say slurs. Alpha Red isn't that good at handling Tim Tim. Shut up, you dumb bitch. This feels like a lab. Hey, this has to be right. Aha, uh -huh, he says. Uh -huh. Digital Tim Tim are a very recent invention, my young friend. <laughs> oh. What is that? <gasps> Whereas Alpharide gets to choose first and I don't because you're my rival and you're gonna pick my type disadvantage. So we got not Turtwig, not Zetterburn, and not Abs. Are we sure this isn't just a Rivals of Ether ripoff? Because now that I'm thinking about it, this could be Baby Crag. It's a crystal. What the hell kind of typing is that? What What is this, Psychic? No, it's a Mental. Oh, sounds perfect for me then. Yo, that's badass. Looks like he just got the play of the game. Okay, so is it just me, or does that Pokemon cry sound like when you clear a level in Super Mario World? <laughs> Oddly specific reference, but I know you understand what I mean. So, yeah, I recorded that footage five months ago, forgot to edit it, and now we're here. You know, behind 20,000 other people. Oh, that makes sense that, uh, literally nothing carried over. What if you try to play Tim Tim, but God said, server is in excess. Here we are playing Tim Tim in the year 2020. It looks a lot more online than the last time I checked though. Also, they gave me the stupid bird. I don't, I don't know why. What is hypnosis? Okay, that's sleep, duh. And this is Latin. You know, everyone's favorite second language. Outside of the star, what is this? And look, wait, that's Guile. Did you see that? <laughs> that noise. He was just so happy. Oh my god, all these trainers. I can't tell which is an NPC and who's just a uh, Kajamaru. It's just so tiny and cute. And we will only catch it if it can survive these two hits. Some Pokemon just get caught, but today you have earned getting caught. It's up to you, Swally. The choice is yours. What do you do? Cool. So that was, it's, God, I hate wild encounters. So I'm just gonna catch them. I'm just gonna catch them all, you know, like Tim Tim always says, because they don't have to worry about national decks, so they can't isolate their fans. They're really doing it right. Oh, I forgot to catch it. That's a problem then. What is everyone looking at? Is there a trainer battle right here? Okay, that makes complete sense. Like, which is an NPC and which is little Timmy the Demon Slayer 32? Like, I just can't tell the difference. Wait, so if I don't have enough mana for a move, I can take health? Oh, that's raw. That is metal as hell. All right, it looks like there's another double battle, but maybe Zadisk, you can distract. Oh, he just said see ya and left me to die. Whenever I pick moves, I just kind of keep throwing stuff at the wall until it sticks because I don't know what types work and uh, I'm just gonna let God decide if I win. Yo. Poke centers are so last year. They just got a kiosk to do it. <laughs> the machines literally ran Nurse Joy out of a job. All right, I'm just feeding for all the Tim Tim that I like. I have seen one picture of this little blue platypus and I don't even have him and I would kill anyone if something happened to him. So one thing that Tim Tim marketed is that they don't have any random elements like Pokemon does with misses and crits and stuff like that. But here's the thing, that is a direct nerf to me. 
I get so lucky in all the scenarios where I shouldn't, so how am I gonna clutch it out when I can't even spin the wheel in this game? So shout out to the Timtim HQ for making a good competitive game, but that's not what I'm about, okay? Give me one move, just a, one singular move in the game that is completely RNG, and I will abuse it like my life depended on it. Because in a perfect world, it will. I like how these trainers always warn me that Carrot Top over here wants to battle. <laughs> this is just one of those guys who you look at and he's just like, what you looking at, huh? Dude, this is so broken. I can just use hypnosis and then he falls asleep. Wait, I'm gonna wait this turn. Watch this big brain play. In this game, I'm pretty sure if you attack someone while they're asleep, it wakes them up. But for some reason, Hoochick right here has an ability where they can attack and not wake him up, which, you know, if I had to guess, that sounds kind of broken. You know what? I think I have just developed my first toxic team in the game and I cannot wait to do it again. Okay, I have battled so many trainers, I get it. I don't like how sometimes the move description is just tell me what to do and sometimes it's a philosophical quote, which doesn't really help at all. <laughs> oh, I forgot I have a rival in this game. Yeah, uh, we've created two separate timelines and I've lost them in both and this is a pretty good game. And this building right here is your academia. That's where I'm going, to the dojo. <laughs> He's got to sound like that, super breathy, super angsty. And now here we are in the Brutal de Mar. I'm American, so you can't really expect me to know these words. I have to assume that this is the right place to be <laughs> because everyone here is just hitting that dong and romp a stand stuff. <laughs> All right, so we have kids missing, and I guess it's my job as the kid who, let's say they got kidnapped. Do you really think sending another kid out there is the right play? You know what? I'm gonna treat this game just like real life and, well, drop out of school. Guess those missing kids just gotta wait because I am on the path to greatness and it's time to catch them all because Tim Tim do what Pokey don't. It sounded better in my head. Whoever lives this turn will be caught. Okay, well, he lost. <laughs> okay, so funny story, everyone's dead. Hey, don't blame me for dying. It's your fault. Wow, what a magma hot take that one could be. No judge, I didn't commit murder. They committed murdered. <laughs> I just want to say that like some of the dumbest things I say, it pains me because I'm sure someone has said something like that before. Look game, I will fight any enemy you throw at me. I just want to find a platy pet because this is the cutest thing to exist and Pokemon can't even hold a candle to it, unless your name is Hatchrim. I gotta say, I really like the aesthetic of this game. They had a goal in mind and I feel like they achieved it. And that feels just about right. All in all, I think this game has a lot of potential. I don't like putting weight in things too much, like calling other platform fighters the next Smash and stuff like that. But like, the thing is, Smash is like at its peak. Like, Smash is doing great. Pokemon, on the other hand, <laughs> people aren't loving it right now. Probably the best promotion this game could have had was people not liking Sword and Shield. <laughs> like, I liked it, don't get me wrong, but like sometimes you would just go to someone's Twitter profile and then see this picture in their recent photos six times, and <laughs> that speaks louder than words. All right, so mental is super effective against fire and normal. I don't really understand why. Perhaps it's because my mental is smarter than a normal person and most common house fires. All right, I'm going to activate big brain mode real quick. It has failed. Oh, I have a little HUD right here with all my Tim Tim. And, oh, I can move him around. That's so nice, oh my God. My team is actually weak because my best mons have already died. So what if I just gamble and try and catch one of these? Come on, wouldn't it be funny? Come on, turn against your brethren. Yes. Oh, well, I actually only needed one, but uh, uh, sure, why not? All the names for the Tim Tims just feel like random generators for what, Weeaboo Xbox Live names. But you know what? It's whatever gets the job done, regardless if they one day grow up and have Demon Slayer profile pictures or whatever the popular anime series is next season. Believe it or not, I am somehow pulling this out from the depths of hell. Should I have won this? No. Will I win this? Yes. Wait, he killed himself? That move required so much mana that he ran out, used some of his health, and it killed him. He took himself down to almost lose the fight less. I respect that. No, it's not about winning. It's about sending the message. And trust me, message received. 
I like how <laughs> this little Pokemon cry isn't a funny sound effect made in Foley work. It's just a real ass duck. Yo, we have been running through these streets for so long. Yeah, I was about to say, we gotta find another town. All right, I cannot believe I am still in tutorial hell. I just want to play the game, like not just play the game, because I know this is Pokemon Quest, battles and stuff like that. But there is a difference of playing the game and playing the tutorial and all the all the sequelites. Mega Man, Mega Man, I'm done with it. I'm tired of it. Let the training wheels off, please. What if it's a platy pet? Oh my god, I don't care about the stupid bird. Just, I don't know how to find this little thing. But he is like Psyduck Mudkip, and what could you ask for more? Yes, you could. His name is Mudkip, but I will take a platy pet. One thing I did like a lot about Pokemon Sword and Shield is that you could avoid a lot of the trainer battles. And would I do that right now if I had the option? Ah, yes. Hot Dog Water wants to trade with you. Um, sure, Hot Dog Water. Whatever you want, bud. Ah. Okay, so now you get my attention. You're blowing me off now. Okay, I see what it's all about. Oh, wait. Mobile trainers? Hell yeah. I am slowly getting past the tutorial. I can actually circumna- Okay. And we're back to this. I'll be honest, I didn't deserve to win. And here's the thing, I don't deserve anything. So uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you did, you could be really cool and say, I was here before the 2 million subscribers in the comments. And you know what? Everyone at school will just say, wow, that guy's cool. I wish I was him or her or they or you or me. Wait, did, okay. So they just both try to use hypnosis on the same Tim Tim, and it didn't work because obviously the Tim Tim was already asleep. But what this just confirmed to me is that you could have a team that's designed to hypnosis both of your opponent's Pokemon. And in this game, hypnosis cannot miss, and it's a guaranteed sleep for two turns. And there's a passive ability that allows you to attack Pokemon while they're asleep and it doesn't wake them up. Oh my god, that's the future of this game. That's the meta. That's gonna be the most toxic strategy. And oh my god. And I can't wait to run that team. I am putting out a warrant for a platypus. Bill Soto Scout. Oh, is this the antagonistic team? I really can't tell, but they look like the perfect blend of a cereal mascot and a boy scout. Does that make sense to anybody else? Or am I just saying random words? It really doesn't matter what they do in battles, because just whenever I get to pop out hypnosis, the game's just over. Oh, chain lightning hits everyone. Wish I knew that before I nearly killed my teammate. Well, you know, we've already come this far. <laughs> he might as well just go down for the culture, right? Well, I guess he didn't have to, but... It <laughs> All my friends are dead. What are you gonna do? Oh, wait, look, we found the gym leader. Oh, how did you end up here? Why is she in this dungeon? Oh, I just realized she's in the prison cell. We're almost done with the tutorials. Then we're gonna beat the team and then we're gonna beat the gym leader and... Uh... Yeah. Yeah.